Hey, don't go yet, little brothers. Don't you want to hear the business I want to talk to you about? What are you talking about? What's there to talk about with the two of us? If you really have any big business, you can find someone else. There are many people in the market who have nothing to do. If there really is any good business, they will fight to the death to go. Looking for the two of us, do you have to take the risk with two burdens? Yang Tianchi's words were reasonable and well-founded, and no one could refute them. The man could not help but laugh when he heard his words. Little brother, although the two of you are not old, your strange brains are also active. You are indeed very clever. I think it was absolutely right to look for you this time. Yang Tianchi turned to Lu Wan and whispered, Let's leave directly later. Don't talk nonsense with this lunatic. This guy is here to fool people. Let's go now. Look at this B asterisk starred being so crazy. Who knows what he'll do later. This place is so remote. As the two brothers spoke, they cautiously moved to one side and slowly walked out along the wall. The man was also very tactful. He leaned against the wall on the other side and looked at the two children. He had no intention of fighting. Two little brothers, I've already said this. Can't you give me some face? This is really good business. There are treasures inside. If it wasn't for the fact that I couldn't enter, why would I give this good thing to the two of you? Only you can enter. The two brothers looked at each other and were not tempted by his words. They continued to walk out and successfully reached the entrance of the alley. They hurriedly jumped over and landed on the small road. They turned around and looked at the man warily. The man smiled helplessly and spread out his hands to look at the two of them. What are you worried about? I definitely have no ill intentions towards the two of you. I really have good business here. I want to talk to you. There's a mystic realm treasure there. Only I know where it is. As long as you agree to come with me, I'll split the treasure we obtain with you too. Yang Tianchi wanted to leave as soon as he could, but Lu Wen couldn't help but say, Don't fool a child. Don't think that we're young and you're planning to use this trick on us. It's useless to lie to us. If you really had such a good place to find a treasure, you would have gone there long ago. This man was most afraid that the two of them would turn around and leave without giving him any chance. However, Luwin actually replied, So things were much easier to handle. Little brother, the place I was talking to the two of you is very strange. It has a very unique restriction. Only those who have not reached the foundation establishment stage can enter. Nonsense. How can there be such a place in this world? Why would I lie to you? It's true. I accidentally discovered this mystic realm, but I've never been able to get any benefits from it. Yang Tianchi was more cautious. He glared at him and said, Don't talk nonsense. Sea City Base was controlled by the Demon Clan before. No one could have been guarding this place. I heard that all the people in the Sea City Base were dead. If you've known about this place for a long time, how could you still be standing here? The man slapped his forehead and smiled helplessly. Look at you two kids, you're so smart. Your brains are so much better. Actually, this place is a natural secret realm that was exposed after the demons wreaked havoc. I wasn't the first to discover it, but someone else. However, those people were all very, very bad people. Recently, they had been crazily capturing all kinds of children and throwing them into the mythical realm making them check the situation ahead without any preparation. Many people had already died. Upon hearing this topic, Lu Wan and Yang Tianchi immediately became vigilant. Recently, they had indeed heard from their sister that they had encountered trouble. Many cultivators below the foundation establishment stage had mysteriously disappeared. Those children were not very strong at first. They did not know what had happened, but they had disappeared very strangely. According to what he said, if there really was such a mythical realm, then many people would capture those children into the mythical realm and help them explore the path. Everything seemed to make sense. Yang Tianchi held his weapon and warned the man. Do you know that the state preceptor is now putting all his efforts into hunting down these people who are wreaking havoc everywhere? If you know about this and don't report it, if the two of us tell the state preceptor about this, you won't be able to live. The man smiled helplessly and said, my baby, I'm just a small fry. I used to help them do things. Later on, I really couldn't stand their behavior. So I ran out myself. Even if you sue me, what's the use? Could it be that they were captured? How do I know if what you said is true or not? Anyway, as long as you all are arrested, 
there will definitely be no mistake. Lu Wen's thoughts were completely different from Yang Tianqi's. He looked at the man and said, How can we believe what you said? Besides, you said that those guys treated human lives like grass and took people in as bait. Was there any difference? If the two of us go in, do you think we can come out alive? The man suddenly took out a storage bag from his pocket and said to the two of them, I've been preparing for this for a long time. I have some understanding of the situation inside. As long as the two of you are willing to cooperate with me, I guarantee that the two of you will come out alive because I've seen someone come out alive before. Yang Tianqi frowned it. He felt that something was wrong and wanted to pull Lu Wen away. Since he had discovered the hideout of these people, he had to report this matter quickly. He had to let Sister Xiao Man know as soon as possible. Then, he would catch all these people in one fell swoop and discover the mythical realm. As for what was in the mystic realm and how to explore it, Sister Xiao Man must have a way. If it really didn't work, she would wait for Master to return. However, just as he was about to leave, he realized that the person beside him could not move no matter how hard he tried. Lu Wen stood there and looked at the man thoughtfully. Lu Wen, what are you doing? He had to tell Sister Wan about this as soon as possible. He couldn't let them do evil again. Lu Wen turned around and his voice reached Yang Tianqi's ears. Have you forgotten why we came to see City Base? Of course, don't forget that Master wants us to stay here to train and grow. This is not a godsend opportunity. With such a mystic realm, isn't it a good time for the two of us to train? If we can find the entrance and enter, I'm afraid this will be an excellent opportunity for the two of us to increase our strength to a higher level. You're crazy. Yang Tianqi was so excited that he forgot to cover his voice. He turned to look at the shifty-eyed man and turned to persuade Lu Wen, the two of us are just one step away from reaching the foundation establishment stage. Now, we only need to hone our mental state and the strength in our bodies. Why must we take such a risk? You don't even know what's there. Lu Wen didn't think so. He slowly put down Yang Tianqi's hand. It's precisely because I'm not sure what's inside that it's worth exploring. This is an opportunity for me. Maybe you don't need it, but I do. What do you mean? Yang Tianqi looked at Lu Wen in confusion. Lu Wen slowly stepped back. He felt that this brother of his could suddenly become incomprehensible at times. That was the feeling he gave him now. Go back and tell Sister Xiao Man about this. If I don't come back, treat it as if I'm dead. Come back here. Yang Tianqi's shout was useless. Lu Wan and the middle-aged man, one big and one small, disappeared into the narrow path. He didn't understand what Lu Wen was doing. Was his brain muddled? Why would he leave with someone who had nothing to do with him? Yang Tianqi slowly recovered from his shock. He hurriedly turned around and ran toward the city lord's mansion. Brat, you're quite brave. You're much tougher than that brother of yours. The man looked at Yang Tianqi with a wicked smile. The two of them had come to a very dark and dilapidated house. The house was barely repaired, and there was no air leakage on the left and right. However, it could be said that the house was bare, and there was nothing useful. Lu Wen looked at the man coldly and pulled out half of the silver sword. I'm warning you. Don't try to be glib with me. I'm willing to work with you, but you have to follow the agreement just now. The two of us will split the things we get. Well said, my brother has extraordinary strength and courage. With your strength, you will definitely be able to take out a lot of good things when you enter. Then I will have to follow you. The man rubbed his hands nervously and took out the storage bag again. He took out a map from it. He placed the map in front of Lu Wan and explained to him, this map was drawn based on the descriptions of the people who came out from inside. It is generally accurate, but there are some uncertain factors in some places that are marked on it. Lu Wen took the map. There were a few strange patterns drawn on the map. At first, he couldn't see them clearly. He didn't understand what the labels on the map meant. However, after reading it carefully a few times and understanding the connections, he could see that this map was a very detailed topographic map. It could be seen from the map that three mountains were drawn on the top half of the map, forming a barrier. Above the barrier was a gray area. There were only a few cross marks on it, and it seemed that no one had been there before. Below the barrier was divided into three different areas. In the middle of the three mountains was a dense forest. At least there were a few strange trees drawn on it. These should be the trees that grew inside. In February, 
There were two areas under the forest. One on the left and one on the right was a desert, and there was a large lake. This structure was very strange. Most importantly, there were many names of materials marked above these areas. According to this, these areas should be rich in such materials. However, the labels on them were very simple. Each area only had two or three kinds of materials marked. These are the materials we need. This map is quite rough. After all, the time is very short, and the space inside hasn't been completely explored, so you might encounter some other materials. The man took some of the things he had prepared and introduced them to Lu Wen. Lu Wen pursed his lips and placed the map on the old table. Why is there only the name of the material on the map and nothing else? Don't tell me that there's no danger here at all, or that there's not a single demon cast. Lu Wen raised his head and looked at the man. Also, since the two of us are working together now, I don't think I don't even know who you are. The man was very satisfied with Lu Wen's cautiousness and quick-wittedness. He took the initiative to introduce himself. Little brother, I'm more at ease with your appearance. You can also call me Huang Daxian, or you can just call me Big Brother Huang. I won't call myself uncle anymore. Lu Wen scoffed at this and replied coldly, I'm afraid you don't have the qualifications to take me in as your little brother. Huang Daxian's eyebrows slightly raised, but he didn't care about this. As for what little brother said, it does exist. There are fixed demon beasts guarding every area. This is also the main reason for the damage. Huang Daxian spoke in a very sincere manner. To tell you the truth, only one out of ten people who went in at the beginning could come back, and those who came back were either seriously injured or poisoned. They died not long after, but after understanding the situation inside, the survival rate has increased to two out of ten people. So you're saying that you're sending people in batches just for this 20% success rate? Huang Daxian hurriedly tried to clear his name. Brother, this has nothing to do with me. I've already escaped from them. You can't hold me accountable now. What is your goal? What do you want me to do for you? Huang Daxian pointed at the desert area and said excitedly, There is something I want here. The fruit of the sand vine has a very dense spiritual power and it can be used to refine some special pills. You only need to come here and help me pick it. If you have enough sand vine fruits, it doesn't matter even if you don't need them. What do you want this for? This is my own business. Brother, you don't need to know this. Let me tell you what dangers there are in this desert. Desert scorpions are the most common in the desert. These scorpions appear and disappear unpredictably. They usually hide about 40 to 50 feet below the sand making it difficult for people to guard against them. There are also some snakes, insects, rats, and ants. Although they are also very dangerous, there are not many of them. You only need to pay attention to them. They shouldn't pose any big threat. The most important thing is these scorpions. Because their numbers are too large, if you get entangled, you won't be able to escape. Luwen looked at the storage bag in Huang Dashian's hand and asked, It seems like you've already made ample preparations. Huang Daxian took out a small ball and a light green talisman. This sky blue shield is a good defensive magic tool, but I spent a lot of money to buy this thing from the market. It's expensive and can protect you at a critical moment from those guys' surprise attacks. There's also this would escape spell. Huang Daxian's mouth twitched. Clearly, these two treasures had cost him a lot of money. Otherwise, he would not have sneakily extended his hand to that fellow. This wooden shield can be used up to three times, but the effect will only get worse and worse. It can only be fully effective the first time. You should use it carefully, but it can help you break out at a very critical time and save your life. Luwin held the two items in his hands and played with them for a while. These two magic tools should be considered very good treasures for ordinary people, especially for an entry-level cultivator who didn't even have a foundation establishment tool. To be able to have such a magic tool was simply to thank the heavens. But who was Lu Wan? His master was Li Yuanqing, who had remarkable abilities. The treasures in Li Yuanqing's shop were like mountains. They were not valuable at all. He had seen many things. However, since this fellow was willing to fork out so many spirit stones to buy such a valuable magic tool, it could be seen that he seemed to be quite concerned about this matter. Lu Wenhao put the two magic tools into his arms and Huang Dashian's mouth twitched. Brother, since you've accepted this treasure, it means that you've agreed to my request. 
You can't just leave sneakily. Although I don't have any other abilities, my tracking and hunting abilities are top-notch. Lewin glanced at him disdainfully and said, There's no need to be so nervous. It's just two low-grade magic tools. Look at how anxious you are. Huang Dashian's two tufts of mustache twitched. Luwen continued, I saw that you wanted to invite the two of us to join you. You should have prepared two sets of things, right? So where is the other treasure? Huang Daxian looked at Lu Wen in shock. Brother, what do you mean? We've just started working together. You haven't even taken a step forward, and you're already thinking of cleaning me up? Lu Wen looked at him arrogantly. Old Huang, you better understand the situation. Only if I can survive can you get what you want. If I die in there, you will have nothing. What's the point of keeping these things? You're too greedy. Don't talk so much nonsense. Hurry up and take out the thing. On the other side, Yang Tianchi stood behind the man-eating vine, not daring to make a sound. The man-eating vine closed its eyes and looked at the two figures flashing on the map, thinking silently. What should Sister Xiao Man do now? I don't know what's wrong with Lu Wan. It feels like he's a different person now. He won't listen to me no matter what I tell him. Did he really tell you that? That's right. That guy said that there's such a place. I don't know where it is either. If there really is such a mystic realm, Sister Xiao Man, you must know about it, right? The man-eating vine thought about it. Recently, many people in the city had indeed disappeared for no reason, and there was some panic. The man-eating vine was also wondering why it couldn't find any evidence against these people. From the looks of it, everything seemed to have an explanation. However, why would there be such a secret realm in the city, and why the man-eating vines did not know about it? This was too strange. There's nothing wrong with what Little One did. I searched carefully, but I still didn't find any other strange movements in the city. If Little One can find the entrance to the mythical realm this time, then I can save her. Then Sister Xiao Man, are you saying that Lu Wen will be the bait? But he was a very impulsive person, wasn't he? It's hard to say. I'm still not sure what method they used to hide that mythical realm. However, if we want to find that place, we must have clear coordinates. Otherwise, we won't be able to see anything. Yang Tianchi gritted his teeth and volunteered. Then I'll go with Lu Wen. He's too impulsive. If anything goes wrong, he won't be able to survive. There's no need to be under my surveillance. He'll be fine. Stay here and don't go anywhere. Sister Xiao Man, just let me go. I shouldn't have left him there alone, and I shouldn't have let him face such a strange person. You have to know that this is very dangerous. If Master, if Senior Li finds out, he will be very angry. Don't worry. Sister Xiao Man, don't say anymore. Just let me go. I'm very regretful now. If I hadn't insisted on going against him just now, I'm afraid he wouldn't have insisted on going to the mystic realm with those people. The man-eating vine saw that it could not stop Yang Tianchi, so it could only acquiesce. However, before Li Yuanqing left, he had also instructed them to leave the two children here. The main reason was to give them more opportunities to experience the mystic realm in front of them. It seemed to be a very good opportunity. If he could make good use of it, he could let these two children grow up a lot in this mythical realm. However, he did not know much about the situation in the mythical realm, so he was still somewhat worried. The man-eating vine pondered for a moment before it took out a vine from its slender hand and wrapped it around Yang Tianchi's wrist. You can connect this vine to me anytime and anywhere. You can communicate with me at any time. If the two of you are in any danger, report to me immediately. Thank you, Sister Xiao Man. I'll go now. Yang Tianchi walked away and slowly closed his eyes. A huge three-dimensional map appeared in his mind. The map covered the entire Sea City base and even marked every tiny corner of it. However, all these places looked so normal. There was nothing strange about them. Where was the secret realm they were talking about? He was afraid that he could only wait for the two children to be examined before he could find them. The man-eating vine turned around and looked at the tightly shut secret room behind it, its eyes revealing a worried expression. If it wasn't for Yi Chilua's serious injuries, he would have gone out personally. But now, Yi Chilua was seriously injured and she still had to take charge of the situation here, so she couldn't completely take care of these two children. Master, please bless me. Brother Liang, this is the reward we agreed on. 
Huang Daxian placed a small wooden box in the hands of a man. The man opened the box and glanced at it before closing it again. He casually put away the box and stood there calmly. Brother Liang, what are you doing? Didn't we agree? A thousand years of snow ginseng. Give me a quota. Huang Daxian said with a smile as he looked at the man. The man called Brother Liang glanced at him coldly and said in a bad mood, Kid, do you really not know? Or are you just pretending? Brother Liang, what are you talking about? How can I know more than you? Now, there's a beast tied among the demon beasts inside. Brother Liang said mysteriously, The probability of entering and coming out has dropped from 30% to less than 20%. So much? Of course. As long as you can come out of there, you will definitely be able to bring out good treasures. Your thousand-year-old snow ginseng is already the price of a few days ago. Huang Dashian's face twitched slightly, but he still maintained his smile. Brother Liang, isn't it a little too much? 20,000 spiritual stones all at once? Or 10,000? This person flipped his face and took out the box, wanting to throw it into Huang Dashian's arms. Huang Daxian reacted quickly and pressed the box in his hand. He said in a panic, Brother Liang, why are you so angry? What kind of relationship do we have? I was just saying it casually. If it's really not enough, I'll bring you these spirit stones without missing a cent. That's more like it. Brother Liang nodded in satisfaction. Which kid are you sending in this time? Little one, come and greet Brother Liang. Huang Daxian called out, and Lu Wen walked out from the corner and looked at the two of them. Brother Liang sized up Lu Wen and smiled. All right, I say that you're quite capable. You're always able to trick so many stinky brats into coming over. This little guy's strength seems to be quite good. If he doesn't come to the same place tomorrow morning, then I won't wait for you. You know the rules. Brother Liang, don't worry. I'll definitely be there on time. All right then. Remember not to spread this matter. The situation here is very strange now. It's already a little unstable. I'm afraid it won't last long. This is the time to make a fortune. This is all thanks to Brother Liang. All right. Explain it clearly to this kid. Don't make any mistakes. The man left in a hurry after giving his final instructions. Huang Daxian continued to smile as he watched. The man finally disappeared, and his smile disappeared. Tomorrow morning, just go to the place where I told you to look for him. Do you recognize his face? I've recognized it. That's good. Don't make any mistakes. I've already prepared everything for you. Once we're inside, it'll be up to you. I'll give you more or less the details. What kind of good fortune you get will depend on your own ability. You're quite generous. You've given us heavenly treasures and a large number of spirit stones. Lu Wen said meaningfully. Huang Dashin's face darkened. Brat, don't worry about this. When the time comes, you must find the things I want you to find for me. You should be able to understand the value of the things I give you. Those things are not cheap at all. If you can't satisfy me, you won't be able to bear the consequences. All right, cut the crap. Just as the two of them were about to leave, they bumped into an old acquaintance. Yang Tianqi appeared here for some reason and blocked their path. Seeing that Lu Wan was still fine, Yang Tianqi heaved a sigh of relief. Why are you here? Lu Wan looked at Yang Tianqi in confusion. Shouldn't Yang Tianqi be with Sister Xiaoman now? Why did she suddenly appear here? Huang Daxian looked at the two children warily and said unhappily, Kid, didn't you leave already? Why are you back now? I'm sure I'll tell you. If you expose us, our previous deal will be invalid. Luwin said unhappily, Go to your own thing. I'm not in the mood to reveal your stupid plan anymore. I say, Why is your temper so big? I wonder which master taught you. The two children glared at him at the same time, causing Huang Dashian's heart to tighten. He waved his hand impatiently. All right, all right. If the two of you have anything to say, hurry up and finish it. Don't delay our matters. Have you remembered the place tomorrow morning? Huang Daxian was about to leave when Yang Tianqi suddenly said, I want to go too. Huang Daxian stared at Yang Tianqi in confusion. He wondered what had gotten into this kid. Kid, weren't you unwilling to come? Why are you doing this again? I'm warning you, this is a very serious matter. It's not like you kids are playing house here. You can't be fickle and leave as you please. Don't worry. Since I said that I would go with him, I definitely won't give up halfway. Huang Daxian sized up the two children. 
He didn't know what these two kids were doing, but they were making him dizzy. Think about it carefully. If you really plan to go, then there's no turning back. The two of you should know a little about my temper. I've always been very narrow-minded. If you dare to make fun of me with this, then be careful not to lose your lives. After Huang Daxian finished speaking, he gave another life-saving item to Yang Tianqi. However, this one was much lesser than Lu Wen's. He had already given most of the items to Lu Wen, and now that he didn't have much left, he could barely make a set. What are you doing here? Lu Wen looked at Yang Tianqi in confusion. Of course I'm going with you. How can I let you go to such a dangerous place alone? Besides, Master is still in seclusion. Before Master left, he said that we should help each other if there's anything. Lu Wen said anxiously, Do you know how dangerous that place is? Only two out of ten people can come out alive. If both of us die inside, what will happen to Master? Yang Tianqi said nonchalantly, Don't worry. Master is very powerful. Even if the two of us die inside, he will be fine. Lu Wen had been very calm just now, but after Yang Tianqi arrived, he became very anxious. However, he could not persuade his senior brother to leave, so he could only accept this reality. Early the next morning, under the gray light, the two of them arrived at a dilapidated cave outside the city. This place had been abandoned for a long time. Because the underground mineral veins below were completely useless, the people who used to live here had moved away. This place had become a wasteland, and it was usually deserted. In addition, it was outside the city, so there were even fewer people. However, at this time, there were many people gathered in the cave abode. Lu Wan and Yang Tianqi followed behind Brother Liang and were thrown into the middle of a group of cultivators. These people were all at the body tempering stage. None of them had reached the foundation building stage. Their cultivation was still very weak. Only a few of them could reach the peak of the body tempering stage and touch the threshold of the foundation building stage. At a glance, there were about a hundred people. Lu Wan and the other two were not eye-catching among these people. After they were in formation, a man in a black robe suddenly appeared on a protruding platform. Although this man's entire body was covered in a black robe, it was still obvious that he had a very strong physique. Just by raising his hand, it was as if a gust of wind whistled past him. The man's eyes, which were covered by the hat, circled around and swept across everyone. You are all elites who have been selected. It is your gift that you can get such a mission. As long as you get the treasures inside and successfully bring them out, we will split it 50-50. You can keep the other half for yourself. As the man spoke, the response of the people below was mediocre. Everyone was nervously waiting to hear the promise of a 50 to 50 split. Many people were slightly excited. Compared to those mediocre people outside, they can only reach this realm in their entire lives. They don't have such an opportunity, they can't get such resources, and their hair will turn into dust for the rest of their lives. However, you are all chosen by the heavens. You have the chance to break through the limit of your lifespan and become eternal mighty figures. At the beginning, this guy seemed a little reserved and couldn't speak freely. However, the more he spoke, the more ridiculous he became. If Lu Wan and Yang Tianqi had not seen the world before, they would have believed his nonsense. However, from the looks of it now, these words seemed to be lying to a child. It was extremely difficult to become a great figure with a lifespan as long as the heavens. Even a figure with great abilities like his master did not dare to say such words. For people like them who had difficulty even building their foundation, it was better to take the next step first. However, these exaggerated words had a huge impact on the hearts of these body-refining realm cultivators who had not seen much of the world. They all secretly gritted their teeth and swore that they would definitely come out of there and take these treasures with them to build their foundation in one fell swoop and embark on the path of cultivation. All right, that's enough. There's one more important thing. I hope you guys won't fight with each other because there are plenty of opportunities up there. Save your energy and think about how to keep your lives. Don't always think about snatching other people's things. Understood. All right then, let's set off immediately. As soon as the man finished speaking, he waved his sleeve. Everyone felt their vision darken. When light returned, they found themselves on a pitch black dragon boat. The dragon boat floated in the sky cutting through the sky and leaving Sea City. 
The dragon boat traveled all the way to the side of the river and dived in without hesitation. That's right, the dragon boat didn't float on the surface of the water. When it came to the river bank, it directly dived into the river, like a javelin. After entering the river, a layer of light appeared on the dragon boat, covering everyone in the middle. More than a hundred people sat on the dragon boat obediently and waited quietly. After Lu Wan and Yang Tianqi sat down in the middle, there was only one leader left. The so-called Brother Liang had long disappeared. The black-clothed man stood at the bow of the boat and controlled the dragon boat to continue sailing downwards. After an unknown period of time, it seemed that they had finally reached the bottom of the river. The dragon boat slowly slowed down and finally stopped on the riverbed. The man in black made a gesture to the group behind him. Everyone took out a green mask and covered their heads. Lu Wan and Yang Tianqi also imitated them and put on the green hood. Then, the light hood on the dragon boat disappeared and the river water poured in. They felt that there was nothing under their feet and the dragon boat disappeared. Their feet landed on the riverbed. The soil below was very soft and black. There were many huge fish beside it, eyeing it covetously. Those big fish stared at the group of people from afar with their big eyes. The crowd ignored them and moved closer to the black-robed man. In front of the black-robed man, there was a pitch-black coral reef. These coral reefs looked ordinary and even a little dim. But when the black-robed man placed his big hand on it, he removed the black shell. There was actually a circular hole under the coral reef. Ripples flowed from time to time, as if they were transformed into five colors. It was very gorgeous. The cultivators behind had never seen such a splendid scene before. They were all stunned. Hurry up and go in. Don't waste time. The opening time is only six hours. If you can't come out in six hours, you will be locked inside. After the black-clothed man finished his instructions, he made way for the grooming men behind him to line up one by one and jump into the hole. Lu Wan and the others followed the crowd and entered the colorful entrance. Although they did not know what was below the entrance, the two of them jumped in without hesitation. Where is this place? A colorful world appeared in front of him. Soft flowers and plants sat under his buttocks. In the distance, there were the sounds of birds chirping. He could even hear the sound of spring water flowing. Everything was so beautiful. Lu Wen opened his eyes and saw Yang Tianqi sitting beside him. The two children looked at each other, their eyes filled with confusion. Is this the mystic realm? I think it's called Dragon Palace. The two of them had heard the name Dragon Palace from the people beside them on the dragon boat just now. They called this place the Dragon Palace Secret Realm. However, there was no sea water after they entered. Only such an endless prairie. Where should this place be? It seemed to be a grassland in the middle of the forest. The two of them then remembered the reason why they came in. They opened the map and took a look. On this simple map, the only place that could match this description was probably that place. This forest was in the center of all the maps. The terrain of the forest was very complicated. There were swamps and grasslands like this. The animals here looked like they were hanging on the treetops. They stared at them with their big eyes and moved their little heads mechanically from time to time. They look quite cute. Senior brother, these little guys look quite interesting. I just don't know if I can catch them and raise them as pets. Lu Wen crawled on the grass like a sharp cheetah. He looked warily at the little birds on the treetops. These little birds were in groups. It would be a pity if he did not catch one or two. However, the colorful birds were not afraid of them at all. They continued to hang on the tree and stared at the two of them as if they were two dead people. Yang Tianqi slowly took out his short stick and looked around vigilantly. This place should be very dangerous. Our main goal this time is that desert area right? We need to get to the desert from here. It will take a lot of time there. Let's hurry. There are only six hours. Just as the two of them were looking at the map and were about to leave, they suddenly felt a chill from behind. Lu Wen raised his head and saw a huge green snake head behind Yang Tianqi. It raised its head high and bit at Yang Tianqi's head with its scarlet mouth. Be careful. The two of them shouted in unison and attacked the snake behind each other. Clang. After two soft slashes, Yang Tianqi and Lu Wan were sent flying. They landed on a tree branch and looked at the snake warily. Fortunately, the two of them discovered it in time and had time to react. 
Otherwise, they would have been bitten to death by this guy just now. That would have been sullen. However, before the two of them could be happy, they suddenly heard a whooshing sound in the air. When he turned his head, he saw that the birds that were squatting on the tree branches were turning around like small spinning tops. Their feathers that were as hard as iron shot out and flew towards the two of them. The two of them had yet to sit down and were about to move again. They jumped towards an empty spot on the grass and gathered together. It's over. This place is too dangerous. If we continue to stay here, who knows how many things will come out. Moreover, the terrain of this grassland is too complicated. The grass is so deep. After a simple discussion, the two of them decided to leave the grassland as soon as possible. Their goal this time was not this forest. They had thought that these guys were harmless and looked very cute, but now they no longer had such thoughts. Just as the two brothers were about to escape, the two snakes that had just been knocked unconscious slowed down again. They twisted their bodies and twisted towards them at an extremely fast speed. The two snakes seemed to have discussed this beforehand and each of them targeted Lu Wan and Yang Tianqi. Fortunately, the two brothers had high-grade treasures in their hands. They were not at a disadvantage when they collided with the snake's teeth. Otherwise, with their strength, they would probably have suffered internal injuries from the first collision. However, if this continued, it would not be good news for them. These demon beasts had very strong physical strength. In addition, in this place, they were like fish in water. After the two brothers simply entangled for a while, they still left hastily. He clearly felt that Huang Dashian's description of this place was a little too scary, but it was actually not that scary. However, after they landed, they immediately realized how childish their initial thoughts were. The strength of this place was much higher than they had imagined. These two snakes were completely above the foundation establishment stage. Even if a human foundation establishment state expert came, he might not be able to gain any advantage in the hands of these two huge snakes, let alone these two inexperienced little fellows. If it wasn't for the treasure Li Yuanqing had given him, which saved his life, he would have long become the snake's meal. The two brothers, who had encountered such a predicament, immediately became cautious. The two of them were extremely careful when they moved through the forest. However, the good news was that although this place was extremely dangerous, there were indeed many treasures growing there. With just a few steps, he could find a few rare materials that were rarely seen outside in the dense forest. After ensuring their safety, the two brothers also collected a lot of things. Huang Daxian said that Lu Wen could keep all the things he brought out except for the shotting fruits that he needed. Moreover, he would get a considerable reward. After an hour, the two of them finally arrived at the edge of the forest. Looking at the yellow desert in front of them, the two of them were in a dilemma. Although the terrain of this forest was very complicated and there were many ferocious demon beasts in it, there was still room for escape. However, if they were really discovered by some powerful demon beasts in such a desert area, they might not be able to escape even if they wanted to. This desert area feels abnormally dangerous. If I go in, I don't know if I can come out alive. I think it's better to collect some more in the forest. After I go out, I can find someone else to exchange for something like the sandvine fruit. Yang Tianqi looked at the terrain in front of him and tried to persuade Lu Wan. Their main purpose in coming here was to gain experience. As for Huang Dashian's request, it was not a big deal to them. Lu Wan bent down and grabbed a handful of yellow sand. There doesn't seem to be many people in this desert. Brothers. Just as the two of them were still discussing, they suddenly heard a commotion behind them. Two sturdy fellows rushed out from the bushes. Lu Wan and the other two turned around warily and looked at the two people who had suddenly appeared. Hello you two. You must be planning to go to the desert, right? The two of them were quite polite. They greeted Lu Wan and the others very politely. Yang Tianqi took a step forward and smiled at the two of THCM. THC two of us just happened to land here and thought that we could just get some treasures. However, there are no sand vines here. In that case, we should just search the forest. You guys are also here for the sandvine fruit. That person suddenly laughed. That's too much of a coincidence. We're also here to look for sandvine fruits. Is that so? I'm Lucien. He's Zhao Gang. My name is Lu Wan. My name is Yang Tianqi. 
The person who called himself Lu Xin saw that the two sides were getting closer and took the initiative to approach. Brothers, you two don't know this. This desert is much more dangerous than you think. If you rashly go over, I'm afraid you'll easily encounter an accident. Yang Tianqi pretended to be very familiar with the situation here and said with a smile, We're just here to take a look. We haven't decided if we should go over. That sandvine fruit is a good thing. I believe the two of you should have heard that there is a good treasure inside this sandvine fruit. Lu Xian suddenly looked at the two of them mysteriously and said, Lu Wan and Yang Tianqi looked at each other and saw the surprise in each other's eyes. They obviously didn't expect such a thing to happen. They originally thought that the sand candy that Huang Daxian had asked them to find was something that could be found anywhere. However, it seemed that this thing had some background. Why do you say that? Don't tell me you really don't know? Lu Xian looked at the two of them in surprise. Yang Tianqi said embarrassedly, We came a little late, so we don't know much about the situation here. It would be best if you could introduce us. That's easy to say. This mystic realm is extremely dangerous. If we can gather together, not to mention fate, at least we can guarantee each other's safety. This is also our best choice. After some pleasantries, Lucien began to explain. This sand vine fruit is originally born in this desert area. It's just an ordinary fruit, but something strange has appeared in this mystic realm. What is it? That is a very high-level demon beast. Their bloodline is very powerful, and these guys reproduce by laying eggs on fruits. Originally, this level of demon beast should not appear here, but for some reason, someone found the eggs of this demon beast in these sandvine fruits. What demonic beast? I heard them say that it's something called the Black Pegasus. Once this thing matures, its speed will be astonishing. If it can be used as a mount, it'll be a very good means of transportation. Moreover, their wings can be used to refine very high-grade magic tools. There's such a good thing. What else can we do? There are many people eyeing the desert covetously now, but the situation in the desert is very complicated. In addition, the beast tide broke out very suddenly this time, and many scorpions have already gathered. If we rashly enter, I'm afraid we will only end up with nothing left. Lucien's explanation had broadened their horizons. The two of them had never heard of such news before. It turned out that Huang Daxian had ulterior motives. He even told the two of them that this thing was not dangerous and that they should go straight into the desert. However, the reality seemed to be far from what he said. Lu Xian revealed a simple and honest smile. He looked at Lu Wen and said, To be honest, the two of us also want to try our luck. If we can really bring back two eggs, then we will make a big profit this time. These are living things, and they are much more valuable than those dead things. I see. No wonder Brother Lu knows so much about it. It seems that the two of you don't know much about the situation here. If you still want to get the sandvine fruit, I'm afraid it's risky. Why don't we form a team? Yang Tianqi and Lu Wen looked at each other. Their original plan was not to team up with anyone else, but it seemed that the information they had obtained from Huang Daxian was too little. Huang Daxian wasn't honest and didn't explain many things clearly. It seemed that there were some benefits to talking to these people. Since the two of you have invited us warmly, the four of us can go together. That's great. I saw that you two are very kind people, so I invited you. Otherwise, I wouldn't dare to invite you. You know, you can't guess what others are thinking, so everyone is very careful. However, before the leader came in, didn't he say that we should try not to fight amongst ourselves? I think it's better to be more harmonious. The smile on Lucien's face grew wider. That's true, but you have to be wary of others. Who knows what others are thinking? Zhao Gang suddenly patted him on the shoulder and looked at him in confusion, as if he had something to tell him. Lucien looked at him unhappily and said to Zhao Gang, Now that we're all brothers, there's nothing we can't talk about face to face. Isn't it just a foundation establishment, Wild Deer? As he said that, he pecked at Lu Wan and the other man with his side eye. Yang Tianqi said, If the two of you still have something urgent to do, it's fine to leave first. We can meet here later. Lu Xian said very generously, Since all of us have encountered it, then we can't hide it. To be honest, we have already set up a trap to catch a wild foundation building cultivator. If we can catch this deer and take the demon core, we will find someone to refine this foundation building pill.
The situation that Lu Xian introduced seemed very tempting. After all, Lu Wan and the others had just arrived here. If they could have someone to help them, they would be able to understand a lot about the situation here by taking down a demon beast first. Moreover, from what they said, the trap was almost set up, but they were still so calm, as if they wanted to invite the two of them to join them. If the two of them could pick up such a benefit for no reason, although they would not be able to keep the medicine list, they would be able to understand more about the situation here. The two brothers had a disagreement. Lu Wen's eyes were full of eagerness, but Yang Tianqi was hesitant. Lu Xian's gaze had never left the two brothers. Seeing the disagreement between the two of them, he hurriedly pretended that nothing had happened and said, Actually, the two of us are still a little inappropriate. Although we set up a trap, it was a foundation establishment demonic beast after all. The two of us don't have much confidence either. If we can find two people to join us, the success rate will be much higher. I see that the cultivation of the two brothers is extraordinary. If you can lend a hand, we will be extremely grateful. After he finished speaking, Luwin became more and more tempted. However, how strong are the demonic beasts? Can't the two of you deal with it with a trap? Lu Xian's eyes revealed a trace of pride, but he concealed it very well. He said rather sadly, Seeing that you two brothers are honest people, I won't hide it. To be honest, I'm injured. Otherwise, we could have taken it down with the two of us. I don't know. If we want to join, what do we need to do? Lu Wen asked straightforwardly. Lu Xian replied with a smile, You don't have to do too much. You just need to support us from the back. The two of us will lure the pig demon into the trap. If the pig demon escapes, the two of you will help us chase it back. It's that simple. Lu Wen's eyes turned. It didn't sound dangerous. Since he had fallen to the rear and was supporting them, he shouldn't be in a very awkward situation. If he could join them and obtain some benefits by coming out like this, it seemed like a good deal. If that's the case, I'm willing to join. Lu Wan. Yang Tianqi was about to stop Lu Wan, but Lu Wan had already promised them, so they agreed to it. Lu Xian did not give the two brothers any chance to regret. He went up and grabbed Lu Wen's hand, calling him brother with gratitude. Good brother, it's all thanks to you this time. Otherwise, we wouldn't know where to find the two of them. With you two, I believe the success rate would be much higher. Lu Wen was a little worried. He turned to Yang Tianqi and said, I'll go by myself this time. Wait for me somewhere else. Don't. When Lu Xian heard that, he became anxious. That pig demon is very powerful. If it's just one person, I'm afraid it won't be able to stop it. I think it's better to. I'll go with you. Ten miles away, there was a flat, open space surrounded by trees. It was quiet at this time, and there seemed to be nothing around. Lu Wan and Yang Tianqi were carefully hiding in the surrounding bushes. You're really too hasty. This place gives me a very bad feeling. Yang Tianqi looked left and right. He felt that the two of them were surrounded by three big trees. Although this was a good hiding place, it gave him a strange feeling. Lu Wan stared at the front without blinking, waiting for the two fellows to chase the pig demon over. You don't have to come. If I came alone, you could still get out alive. Why did you come with me? What are you talking about? Yang Tianqi shook his head helplessly. We promised Master that we would take care of each other. How could I leave you here alone? Just now, Lu Wen had agreed to the request of the two people without knowing the situation of the two people. If the two of them had ulterior motives, Lu Wen and Yang Tianqi would be in a very dangerous situation. Fortunately so far, nothing seemed to have gone wrong. Everything was going quite smoothly. After a while, there was a sudden commotion in the forest. The two of them stared at the narrow entrance. It was the place that Lu Xian had agreed to let the pig demon in. Sure enough, after a strong spiritual fluctuation, a pitch-black pig demon roared and rushed in from the entrance of the small path. Its speed did not decrease at all as it rushed towards Lu Wan and Yang Tianqi. The two of them frowned slightly. Looking at the incomparably fast pig demon, they were at a loss for a moment. According to their original settings, the two of them should have controlled the pig demon first and tried their best to stay within the range of the trap. When the pig demon rushed in, they would immediately draw the net and capture them. That way, everything would be over. They would have succeeded. Unless there was an unexpected situation, Lu Wan and the other two would need to take action. 
But now, it seemed like the pig demon was completely out of control. Its eyes were red as it charged towards Lu Wan and the others. It seemed like its target was very clear. It was coming for the two of them. This was very strange. Something's wrong. Where did Lu Xian and the other two go? Why can't I see her now? Lu Wen also felt that it was strange. However, when he looked behind the pig demon, the two fellows were nowhere to be seen. It was empty behind it. There seemed to be shouts and fighting just now, but now, he could not see anything. Something's wrong. What are they doing? Did something happen? I feel that these two people don't seem to be good people. The current situation doesn't seem right. Let's quickly retreat. This pig demon isn't weak. Just as the two of them were about to turn around and retreat, they suddenly heard Lucien's voice in front of them. Two little brothers, hurry up and help us intercept the pig demon. The two of us were injured just now, and he managed to escape. Chase the pig demon back, and we will immediately activate the array. The two brothers had originally planned to turn around and leave, but when they suddenly heard such a voice, they hesitated for a moment. What do you mean? Forget it. Let's make a move first. At this moment, the pig demon had already rushed in front of the two of them like a madman. It seemed to have a specific goal and wanted to rush towards the two of them. It didn't care about anything else. Although they didn't know why this wild beast was so arrogant, the two brothers still took out their weapons and prepared for battle. A slender long sword appeared in their hands at the same time. This long sword was very light and agile, and it seemed to have been made by the same craftsman. When the pig demon was less than five feet away from them, the two of them attacked at the same time. The long swords in their hands suddenly shook, and they were about to charge at the pig demon. The two of them did not intend to passively wait for the pig demon to arrive before making a move. Instead, they wanted to take the lead and block the pig demon in the array formation. However, just as the two of them were about to rush out, there was a sudden flash of light in front of them. Countless patterns appeared on the trunks of the three trees. These fine patterns connected together to form a large secret net. The huge net came crashing down on Lu Wan and the others, trapping them in the middle. Before the two of them could react, the pig demon in front of them had already arrived. After the two brothers panicked for a moment, they suddenly took out the shield Huang Daxian had given them. A thin layer of qi shield condensed around their bodies, and they collided with the pig demon. However, under Li Yuanqing's training, the two of them were very good at body movements. The two of them reluctantly diverted their strength to the side to drag the big net. Taking advantage of the pig demon's fierce attack, they jumped up and hung on the tree. The pig demon's eyes were red, and he panted heavily through his nostrils. He glared angrily, but he couldn't find anyone. Lu Wan and the others had just let out a sigh of relief when they suddenly felt a strange energy coming from the huge net hanging on their bodies, causing all the strength in their bodies to become chaotic. The little bit of power that the two of them had just gathered had almost been dissolved. They could only hang on the branch reluctantly, hoping that the pig demon would not discover them. The pig demon looked around and suddenly discovered the two people hanging on the tree. He was instantly furious and roared towards the sky. His two thick hind legs kicked heavily on the ground, creating two large pits on the ground. When the two brothers saw this situation, they hurriedly pulled hard and directly hung on the branch as they climbed up. The pig demon bit on the big net, but it felt as if its lips were scalded by something and hurriedly let go. The pig demon watched as the two guys hung on the tree, unwilling to come down no matter what. It was also anxious to take them left and right. The two of them could not do anything. At this moment, Lu Xian and Zhao Gang appeared from outside unhurriedly. The two of them each held an array flag in their hands and waved it inside a few times. The originally narrow space inside suddenly seemed to have become cramped. The pig demon could still hold on but it felt that it was becoming more and more difficult to move. This fellow was quite smart. It directly charged in Lucien's direction, wanting to block their martial arts. However, this set was useless. Instead, it crashed heavily into the large net of the City of Patterns. Lucien looked at the rampaging pig demon and could not help but laugh out loud. Brother Zhao, what did I say? I randomly found two idiots to be bait and casually took down this pig demon. It was such a simple matter, but you didn't believe me. Zhao Gang was a man of few words, but at this moment, 
a smug smile appeared on his face. We have to thank our two good brothers for this. Their strength is extraordinary. I didn't expect them to have such extraordinary strength at their age. They were able to survive around in the pig demon's mouth and weren't even injured. That's why they were able to drag the pig demon here and let us operate the entire array. Their people simply acted as if there was no one else around them. They didn't take Lu one to heart at all as they conversed. It was as if these two guys were already dead. All right, you two bastards. You really planned this. Yang Tianqi said coldly as he looked at Lu Xian. Lu Xian couldn't help but grin as if he had heard the funniest joke in the world. Little fellow, what are you saying? Do you really think that anyone in this place will be willing to cooperate with you? If I can kill the two of you and get all the life-saving items on you, they will be mine. At this moment, Zhao Gang started to talk more. What do you say outside about not fighting each other and preserving your strength? As long as you die, all your life-saving equipment will be mine. It was better to gather things together than to scatter them in a mess. Ha ha ha. Lu Xian smiled happily. He really didn't expect that the harvest this time would be so bountiful. Moreover, these two little fellows looked like children from rich families. The equipment on their bodies was enough to make people envious. Fortunately, they had caught two fat guys in this wave. It could be said that they had earned a lot. Brother Lu, don't talk so much nonsense with him. First, get rid of this pig demon. Then, take out all the treasures on these two little fellows. I can see that they have a lot of treasures on them. Let me make this clear first. The kid on the left is yours, and the kid on the right is mine. All right, hurry up and take care of them first. After a simple discussion, the two of them ended their smugness. This was a bountiful harvest. However, the important thing was that they had to quickly deal with these two little fellows and then go to the designated place to collect enough materials. Otherwise, they would not be able to report back when they went out. As the two of them spoke, Lu Wen felt the pressure around him gradually increase. The air in this space had become thin. The wild boar was still charging around, but it could not get out. In the end, it was almost exhausted. There's no other way. It seems that we can only use that thing. Yang Tianqi glared at Lu Xian and suddenly said something strange to Lu Wen. Lu Wen could only agree helplessly, it's my fault this time. Don't say so much useless things. Let's deal with these two first. We still have to find the sand vine fruit. We've already wasted enough time here. When Lu Xian heard the two of them talking, he felt that he had heard correctly. Weren't these two guys already trapped by the array? How could they still say such words now? It was as if nothing had happened to the two of them. Why are you two pretending to be stupid? You'll be in for a good lesson later. I'll torture the two of you properly before killing you. As Lu Xian spoke, he muttered to himself, constantly pushing the array inside, wanting to push the array to the extreme. A small black wooden stick suddenly appeared in Yang Tianqi's hand. It was called a small wooden stick, but it was difficult to guess what the material of this thing was. It looked very strange. The moment the black stick was taken out, it slowly emitted a strange fluctuation in the surroundings, as if it was driving a ripple to spread in the surrounding air. Lu Xian and Zhao Gang looked at Yang Tianqi strangely. They didn't know what Yang Tianqi was up to. Brat, no matter what tricks you're playing, it's all over now. He pushed his array formation to the limit and threw out a low-level talisman, summoning a bolt of lightning from the sky. The lightning struck straight at Yang Tianqi. If he was hit, he would lose a layer of skin under such circumstances. However, Lu Xian was dumbfounded by what happened. In such a formation, it was as if all the air and space had been frozen. Even the thunderbolt had stopped in midair without any power. He lowered his head and looked at the array flag in his hand. The small flag suddenly shook violently. The shaking was very large and gradually became unstable. Under his gaze, it exploded from the middle and broke into several pieces. Lu Xian was just about to speak when he suddenly realized that there was another person in front of him. This person's skin was dark but his eyes were as bright as the stars in the night sky. However, at this moment, his eyes were filled with hatred. Lu Wen stared at Lu Xian coldly. I trusted you so much just now, and this is how you repay me? Lu Xian had no idea how these two little fellows had escaped from the array and even destroyed his entire array. 
He did not know that Li Yuanqing's attainments in array formations aside, the man-eating vine's attainments in array formations alone were definitely at the top of the entire catacombs, creating an array formation disarray device for the two little fellows to use for self-defense was just a small trick. Moreover, facing such a low-end array formation, there was no need for too troublesome a process. The man-eating vines could create a lot of small things like this in a day. Luwin hated to talk nonsense with others. The two fellows in front of him wanted to kill them just now, so the best reward for them now was to make their souls scatter. Scarlet blood splattered on Lu Wen's face, emitting a foul smell. Lu Wen wiped the blood off his face indifferently, and the temperature of his body rose, directly burning the blood dry, leaving only a little residue on the ground. The arrogant Lu Xian had long been beheaded. His head was still looking at the sky in disbelief. It seemed that he had never expected that the two young fellows that the two of them had spent so much effort to find could actually kill him in a short exchange. What he didn't know was that in this situation where no one had yet to build their foundation, Lu Wan and Yang Tianqi, who were at their peak, were simply the top fighting strength here. Moreover, the two of them also carried all kinds of strange and strange spiritual artifacts which were given to them by their master. Yang Tianqi successfully controlled Zhao Gang. He turned around and found that Lu Xian was already dead. Lu Wen, why did you hit me so hard again? They wanted to kill us just now. The two of them don't have such strength. Forget it, one of them is enough. Tell me honestly, what are the two of you waiting for? Are there any precious materials nearby? If you explain clearly, you might still be able to save your life. Zhao Gang was so scared that he almost peed his pants. He looked at the two guys with his mouth agape. At that moment, he did not even have the time to fight back before he was tied up tightly by something. He had completely become a big dumpling. Looking at the other side, Lucien was already dead. All that was left was a corpse. It was too miserable. He never thought that he would end up like this. However, the strange thing was that they did not even know how these two kids did it. Zhao Gang's lips trembled as he stammered but he couldn't say a complete sentence for a long time. Lu Wen walked up to Zhao Gang and held the sword with a cold gaze. His voice was even more cold-blooded as he said, I don't think these two people can say anything useful. Kill him and don't leave him alive. Don't. At this critical moment of life and death, Zhao Gang was finally able to speak. He looked at Lu Wen anxiously. Spare my life. I know a lot of things. I will definitely be able to help you. Spare my life. If you have any nonsense to say, just say it. I don't like to waste time here with you. You also know that we only have a total of three ten liters of time. I know that there is a forest of emerald root trees here. Lu Wen had already raised his sword, and Zhao Gang finally dropped a treasure trove out of panic. Azure root tree? That's right. It's the azure root tree. The roots of this tree can absorb very dense spiritual power, and it's very pure. If you cut it directly, it can increase the spiritual power in your body by a lot. It's a very good ingredient for cultivation. Is it really that useful? It's absolutely true. The goal of the two of us coming in this time is that pile of azure root trees. Then what are you waiting for? Hurry up and bring us there. Two hours later, the two of them appeared at the edge of the desert again and were packing their things. Yang Tianchi hesitated and said, Actually, it's enough to cripple his cultivation just now. If he doesn't have cultivation, he won't be able to get out at all. He can only feed these wild beasts here. There's no need to touch him personally. Luwin said coldly, The two of them lied to us just now. In my eyes, only those who are already dead can't speak. As long as I'm still breathing, I'm not safe. All right, we've wasted enough time here. We only have two hours left. We need to find as many sandvine fruits as possible in these two hours. The two of them were covered in a layer of shield as they stepped into the desert. The sand in the desert was very soft. It felt like one's entire foot would sink in if one stepped on it. Moreover, there were many small demon beasts hidden below. Who knew when they would suddenly be attacked? Those scorpions' outer shells arc extremely hard. Ordinary weapons are unable to break through them. I wonder if the wood spirit staff that master gave me will be useful. Yang Tianqi held the black short stick in his hand and probed forward a few times. Some spiritual power leaked out of his body. From Zhao Gang's words, 
They learned that the demon beasts in this place were very sensitive to sharp senses. As long as there was a little spiritual power leaking out, they would be keenly sensed and then attracted over. As expected, Yang Tianqi had only casually leaked a little aura, but he immediately felt a wave of squirming under his feet. After the wriggling, a pitch-black scorpion with sharp short thorns jumped out of the desert and pounced on Yang Tianqi's exposed skin. Although these scorpions looked heavy and clumsy, they were actually very agile. However, Yang Tianqi was already prepared. He immediately swung the short stick in his hand up and down, knocking the scorpions away one by one. The wood spirit rod emitted a very dense and peculiar power. Under the collision of this power, these scorpions seemed to have encountered a natural enemy, and the energy in their bodies was directly dissolved. This discovery made the two of them extremely happy. They did not expect that this wood spirit rod would have such a good effect on these desert scorpions. It saved them a lot of trouble. The treasures on Master's body were endless, and the things he prepared for them were all useful. It was really appropriate. The two of them bent down and kept flipping the sand under their feet knocking away the scorpions hidden in the sand below with their sticks, forcefully opening up a path. The yellow sand danced in the air as the two of them passed by. It was as if a tornado had been stirred up. In addition, the two of them were advancing faster and faster. It was as if a huge worm had suddenly crawled out from under the sand. They kept advancing into the distance. The situation was really scary. Even those who had entered the desert earlier were shocked by the scene in front of them. They all thought that something had appeared. A powerful demon beast was stirring up trouble here, but they did not know that two humans were opening a path for them here. Yang Tianqi and the other two couldn't care less about what others thought. After realizing that this method was effective, they drove all the way forward and rushed forward, rushing towards the place marked on the map with the sandvine fruit. Originally, there were a few people who were standing there wanting to pick them. However, they suddenly saw a huge dragon charging out from afar. When they came over, they were so scared that they ran far away. Just like that, the two of them found the first gathering place of the sandvine fruit very easily. There were also a few corpses here. Most of these corpses were only skeletons left. It was impossible to tell how they died. In any case, as long as you lay here and couldn't move, you would eventually become the food of these desert scorpions. The two of them continued to search in this manner. They searched for a few places and collected a lot of sandvine fruits. The time was almost up. The six hours agreed upon would be up soon. They had to arrive at a specific place within the agreed time. Coincidentally, this place was not far from their last base. This was not bad news. After the two of them finished collecting the sandvine fruits at the last gathering place, they rushed towards the gathering place. We got so many sugar fruits this time but are we going to exchange them with Huang Daxian? If there really was that legendary egg inside, would it be better for him to keep it? Huang Daxian, that bastard, didn't tell us clearly when he came. He lied to us and said that he was using it to train this thing, but it clearly has other uses. After I say it, we have to keep an eye on him. As the two of them walked, they planned. Suddenly, they saw a commotion in front of them. The yellow sand that filled the sky formed a huge tornado along with the strong wind. The center of the tornado was their gathering place. This gathering place was the closest to them. Moreover, they were stuck here when the time was almost up. It was almost time. If they could not get out of here, they were afraid that they would be in big trouble. What happened up ahead? There seems to be very powerful energy inside. Could it be that we encountered a powerful demon beast? The two of them braced themselves and moved forward, sneaking into the middle of the sandstorm. In the sandstorm, two incomparably huge spiders were facing a huge yellow snake that was hundreds of feet long. The three of them were facing each other, as if they were fighting. Beneath their bodies were many human corpses. It seemed that these three had fought here and casually killed dozens of people. The three of them were very wary of each other. They looked left and right and could tell that the two spiders were in cahoots. However, the two of them did not dare to attack rashly, as if the snake was a great threat to them. What should we do? If they couldn't get out of here, it seemed like they wouldn't have enough time. No, it's almost time. I have to bite the bullet and rush inside. After they make their move, I'll immediately find an opportunity to sneak in. As the two of them spoke, 
they moved slowly along the edge of the storm. They wanted to take advantage of the fact that these guys were not paying attention and slowly find the closest place. Later, they could directly enter to avoid missing the time. However, at this moment, the huge yellow snake suddenly flicked its tongue and turned its head sharply in the direction of the two of them. The moment the snake turned its gaze over, the two spiders immediately followed suit. The three of them had noticed Lu Wan and Yang Tianqi. These three fellows had even faintly touched the boundary of the Grotto Heaven Realm. With such powerful strength, if they were to face them, the two of them would not have much of a chance of winning. Oh no, they found us. Split up. Seeing that the exit was close at hand, the two brothers had no choice but to run in one direction at high speed. Wanting to take advantage of the chaos to get into the exit, Lu Wen was standing right in the middle of the two spiders. The spider saw the little thing running around under its body, and its eyes lit up. The two spiders temporarily put aside their prejudice and began to attack the little fellow below. Although the two spiders did have grudges against each other, they were nothing compared to the humans. These humans were the main target of both sides. A lot of them had died just now, and now there were still people who dared to show up. They really didn't know what was good for them. The giant spider kept waving its long and narrow legs, stabbing at Lu Wen who was constantly moving around. Every time it hit the ground, it would leave a huge pit that was hundreds of feet deep. Even the waves that splashed up were enough to make people unable to stand steadily. Fortunately, Lu Wen's footwork was indeed tough enough. Looking at the rocks and sand flying in front of him, and even raising a gust of wind, he was always able to find a way out in this narrow gap. Although the giant spider had some tricks up its sleeves, it didn't seem to be paying much attention at first. Instead, it made way for Lu Wen to run over at an extremely fast speed. Moreover, the strength of these two spiders was slightly weaker. The two of them did not cooperate at the beginning and fought their own battles. Lu Wen took advantage of this short period of time to reach the exit without hesitation. He was less than a thousand feet away and could already reach the altar that was flashing with a strange light. At this moment, the spatial door opened. The light kept twisting and finally turned into a vortex. A suction force was emitted from the vortex, continuously absorbing the things outside. Seeing that Lu Wen was about to get out, the big spider finally came to its senses. It roared angrily, and its fat belly bulged. A black silk thread shot out from his abdomen. He spat it out as if he did not care about his life. Moreover, this silk thread seemed to have a very strong corrosive effect. Wherever it came into contact with, waves of black fog rose. Lewin was shocked and suddenly took a step back because a thread had blocked the path in front of him. It drew a black chasm on the road and isolated him. On the other side, although Yang Tianchi was facing the powerful snake demon, the snake did not give him too much pressure. Yang Tianchi's movement technique had always been more agile. In addition, the snake's body was huge, so there were many places where it could hide its vision. Yang Tianchi used the advantage of its vision to play with it. Finally, it gradually approached the exit. Seeing that it was about to leave, the snake was furious. It swung its huge tail and smashed it towards the path in front of Yang Tianchi, trying to smash a gully here to stop Yang Tianchi from continuing. These demons knew what the place in front of them was for. They had used it as bait to lure many humans over and kill them all in front of them. Although these two people looked much stronger than those guys just now, their goal was the same. As long as they stopped them from passing through here, these two guys would be anxious and make mistakes. Yang Tianchi immediately stopped the moment the snake lifted its tail. He stood there and watched as the snake's tail smashed down heavily. As the snake's tail fell, Yang Tianchi ignored the sand and stones that filled the sky and jumped from the edge of the gully, hundreds of feet away. Yang Tianchi rolled a few times on the ground. He looked at the portal in front of him and looked in Lu Wen's direction happily. However, he realized that Lu Wen was covered in venom by the spiders. The webs of the spiders had completely sealed off the path in front of Lu Wen. The area was completely blocked, leaving no space for him to step on. Seeing that Lu Wen's living space was getting smaller and smaller, and he was constantly retreating, he was about to miss the opportunity to get out. Yang Tianchi looked back and the snake glared at him with hatred. Lu Wan, I'm coming to save you. Come over here. Yang Tianchi abandoned the victory in front of him 
and ran towards Lu Wan. Don't worry about me. Leave quickly. No, I promised Master that I would bring you out. Don't talk so much nonsense. Get lost. I don't need you to save me. Lu Wan, hurry up and leave. The yellow sand that filled the sky made the originally very low visibility space even more dim. Yang Tianqi couldn't find Lu Wen's figure either. The snake was furious and twisted its huge body, trying to wrap Yang Tianqi in the middle. Helplessly, Yang Qi could only take advantage of the great snake's defenseless kung fu to escape to the altar that had been prepared beforehand. In the next second, Yang Tianqi felt the scene in front of him flash. Everything had changed. The yellow sand that filled the sky had disappeared, and the roars of the snake and spider could not be heard at all. Now, it had turned into a pitch-black riverbed. Outside this pitch-black space, there was a person waiting anxiously. Huang Daxian grabbed Yang Tianqi's neck and pulled him up. He looked at Yang Tianqi greedily. Kid, where's your stuff? Give me the sand vine fruit. Yang Tianqi pulled Huang Daxian's hand away and said coldly, Won't give it to you unless you can save my brother. What do you mean rescued? Right. Where did he go? Did he die inside? You're the one who died inside. He's alive and well now, but he's being entangled by two demon beasts and can't come out for the time being. I want you to think of a way to save him, or else you won't get anything. Are you kidding me? I can't enter that place. Huang Dashian's eyes widened as he said furiously, Can you stop being so pretentious? As long as you bring the fruit out, I will give you the reward. It has nothing to do with you whether your brother lives or dies. Of course it's related. If he can't come out, then I won't hand over these things. As Yang Tianqi spoke, he stepped back, still holding the shining sword in his hand. Huang Dashian's expression turned ugly as he stared at Yang Tianqi with a dark expression. Are you serious? Are you really going to go against me? Cut the crap. He went in to help you pick that fruit. Now, you have to get it out for me, or you won't get anything. Huang Daxian gritted his teeth and walked up to Yang Tianqi. He glared at him and said, I took out so many things. I prepared so many life-saving things for you too. But the two of you didn't live up to expectations and still died inside. Can you blame me for this? Cut the crap. Do you have a way or not? Huang Daxian was about to flare up when his expression suddenly changed, as if he had thought of a good idea. With a smile on his face, he looked up at Yang Tianqi and said, Good, well said. After your reminder, I suddenly thought of a way. However, I can't do that. I have to ask Brother Liang. Then hurry up and find Brother Liang. Before I see my junior brother, I won't take anything out. Huang Daxian said sadly, Brat, don't you know anything? In order to send the two of you in, I spent all my savings. Now, I don't have a single cent on me. If you want me to help you with such a big favor, you have to give me something, right? Moreover, it's such a difficult thing. Ordinary benefits are definitely not worth it. Yang Tianqi thought about it and realized that it did make sense. This fellow had indeed taken out a lot of resources. Now that he said that he had nothing on hand, although he did not know if it was true or not, it did make sense. Moreover, this was the time to race against time. If they were to waste time, Luwen would probably be beaten up badly. Perhaps he would have been eaten up by the snake. What do you want? Yang Tianqi asked hesitantly. Of course it's the sand vine fruit. Huang Daxian realized that he was a little agitated. So he immediately calmed himself down and lowered his voice to suppress his emotions. Since you've already walked around inside, I'm sure you know that this fruit is in high demand now. If you use this thing to get some benefits from them, they will definitely think of a way. I remember that they still have a special passage. You can definitely get in. Then how confident are you? Who can say for sure? I only heard them say that at that time. It's hard to say how confident they are. Huang Daxian also wanted to make up a complete lie. Seeing Yang Tianqi's hesitant expression, he immediately added, That's true. But since he dared to say such a thing, he must have a way. Yang Tianqi couldn't care less about that. He waved his hand, and a pile of sandvine fruits appeared in his arms. Huang Daxian looked at the fruits on the ground and felt proud. However, he was still one step away from success. He could not give up halfway. He pretended not to care and looked at Yang Tianqi. Is this all you got this time? Yang Tianqi held his waist and looked at him. 
Why do you care so much? You can take these for benefits. It's definitely enough. Hurry up and save my brother. Huang Dashian's eyes lit up and he immediately agreed. All right, all right. I'll go find Brother Liang now. He must have a way to save your brother. Yang Tianqi looked at Huang Daxian walking towards him. Although he was a little wary, he did not put too much effort into it. He wanted Huang Daxian to take all these sandvine fruits in front of him. Just as Huang Daxian was collecting the fruits, he suddenly let out a low cry as if he had been bitten by something. Yang Tianqi wanted to go over and take a look, but after getting close for a while, he suddenly smelled a strange fragrance coming from Huang Daxian's body. This fragrance was very strange, and he couldn't tell what it was at the moment. In the next second, Yang Tianqi felt that his entire body was extremely heavy, making him sleepy. Huang Daxian looked at Yang Tianqi, who was lying on the ground, and let out a strange laugh. Stinky brat, you two are still too inexperienced to play tricks with me. You look quite strong, kid. You actually collected so many fruits. I really didn't choose the wrong person back then. Just as he was feeling smug, a figure suddenly appeared behind him. Brother Liang appeared in front of him with a bruised face and a face full of grievances. Huang Daxian was shocked by the sudden appearance of Brother Liang. He was about to speak when he suddenly realized that there was someone behind Brother Liang. That person was the leader in black robes. Good fellow, I actually dared to steal from our hands. Are you tired of living? The leader's voice was extremely cold, and his words were abnormally scary. Brother Liang's face was filled with bitterness. He was already half dead. Huang Daxian was keenly aware that the situation was very unfavorable for him. He hurriedly smiled and said, I think you've misunderstood. I didn't steal anything. The man in black threw Brother Liang to the ground and looked at him coldly. He has already confessed everything, but you're still stubborn. I didn't expect you to be able to find such strong thugs and steal all our results. Huang Daxian didn't know what this guy meant. He only felt that he was in big trouble now. Although he retreated while thinking of countermeasures, the strength of this person in front of him was not something he could provoke. Senior, I really don't know what you mean by that. Could it be related to this kid? I don't know this kid. I'm just passing by. This kid just fell to the ground like this. I don't know anything. If you want him, I'll give him to you. As Huang Daxian spoke, he threw Yang Tianqi's body. He turned his body around and jumped upwards. This movement technique was the result of using all his decades of escaping experience. At this moment, he turned into a black shadow and disappeared into the bottom of the river. The man in black caught Yang Tianqi's gaze and stared coldly in the direction Huang Daxian had fled. He followed him without hesitation. Huang Daxian felt the power behind him getting closer and closer, and he could not help but feel bitter. He didn't expect that his feet would really get wet after walking by the river for a long time. How could he have thought that he would encounter such serious trouble this time? He had even lured such a big shot over. The black-robed man carried Yang Tianqi on his shoulder and pressed Huang Daxian's neck against the riverbank. Even though Huang Daxian's legs were nimble, the difference in strength between them was simply too great. There was no room for him to escape. He had just escaped to the riverbank when he was immediately caught. Now, he was beaten to the point where he was only half alive. Blood was still gushing out of his mouth. I was talking to you nicely just now. Didn't you hear me? The black-robed man continued to search Huang Daxian's body, searching for all the things he had hidden. Huang Daxian wanted to say something, but the blood that kept gushing out of his throat prevented him from saying a complete sentence. Misunderstanding. I was wrong. I didn't do anything. He said some very ambiguous words, but these were meaningless. Since he had already fallen into the hands of others, there was no reason to let him leave alive. The black-robed man also searched Yang Qi's body and found all the things on him. This gave him a fright. He had thought that Huang Daxian had a lot of treasures on him, but when he searched Yang Tianqi, he realized that the kid was like a treasure trove. The treasures he had were even more valuable than his own. Good heavens! The two of you actually have such ability. I didn't expect that you would actually have so many treasures hidden on you. The people who had luckily escaped from inside reported that two strange people had appeared in the mystic realm at some point in time. These two strange people were very powerful and had snatched all the fruits that everyone had obtained. 
That was why they had returned empty-handed. This made the black-robed man furious. After some investigation, the black-robed man found the source of the problem. He quickly found the hiding place of Huang Daxian and the others and captured them in one fell swoop. Although the number of fruits they had found was not as much as what they had lost, it was already a very considerable number. In terms of a single person, the number of fruits on this kid was equivalent to five or six people coming out. In addition to discovering these accidents, it was simply a huge profit. He didn't expect to find such a treasure trove on an unremarkable body tempering cultivator. This kid was really lucky. However, before the black robed man could be proud of himself, he suddenly felt an extremely huge force enveloping his body. This force seemed to be omnipresent, directly covering him in the middle and constantly squeezing his body. The man with the black cannon looked left and right strangely, but the space beside him was still fine. There was no change. What was wrong? He shook his head. There was nothing in front of him. He must have been too nervous, so there was a problem with his perception. Now, he had to kill the two of them as soon as possible. Then, he could go back and stop the loss this time. Otherwise, he would really have no way to explain it to the higher-ups. He had just raised his hand to gather this strong energy, wanting to burn young Tianchi to ashes. However, at this moment, the power became even more condensed, as if it was completely wrapped in the middle, making him dizzy. The black-robed man's hand trembled a few times, and the power gathered on his hand dispersed. He looked at his empty hands in horror. No matter how hard he tried, he couldn't use any strength. He could only watch as his body slowly floated up. In the next second, after the space in front of him flashed, a person appeared out of nowhere. This young man had delicate skin and tender flesh, but his body exuded an experienced aura. At this moment, this fellow was looking at the black-robed man with an unhappy expression, as if he was looking at a corpse, without any emotion. The black-robed man did not know why he was so afraid. It was as if he had seen his natural enemy when he saw this fellow in front of him. He was so terrified. Who are you? What do you do? The black-robed man asked Li Yuanqing in a hoarse voice. Li Yuanqing did not waste any more words. He waved his arm gently, and the black-robed man's originally huge body turned into a cloud of smoke and disappeared from this space. It was as if he had easily turned into ashes. He did not even disappear. At this moment, Li Yuanqing's strength had advanced another step. He had already reached the peak of the near array, and the strength in his body had become even more condensed. After dealing with this guy, Li Yuanqing took out a pill that was as warm as jade and gently placed it in Yang Tianqi's mouth. Yang Tianqi slowly opened his eyes. He looked at his master's face in a daze as if he was dreaming. Master, am I dreaming? Or am I already dead? No, master, no matter if I'm dead or alive, you have to save Lu Wan. He's trapped in the mystic realm and is being entangled by two demon beasts. Yang Tianchi thought he was dead, but he still grabbed Li Yuanqing's arm tightly and shouted at the top of his lungs. Li Yuanqing gently caressed his back and immediately calmed the little guy down. The little guy looked at Li Yuanqing in confusion. It's okay. Master will save him. Yang Tianchi bit his lips lightly. The pain woke him up. Master, am I still alive? Let's go. Just as the two of them were about to leave, Huang Daxian, who was beside them, opened his eyes unsteadily. When he saw a man suddenly appear, he was shocked. However, when he saw that it was just a little kid, he instantly relaxed. Little guy, what's your relationship with him? Where did that guy go? Huang Daxian hurriedly touched his waist and checked his storage pouch. He found that it was clean. He immediately grabbed Yang Tianchi's arm and swung his fist, intending to smash Yang Tianchi's face. You bastard. You even dare to steal my things. Bastard. These words seemed to have some power as they sent Huang Daxian flying. Huang Daxian opened his mouth again and spat out a mouthful of blood on the ground. He looked up at Li Yuanqing in horror. Only now did he realize the terrifying strength of the young man in front of him. He had thought that he was just an unknown little fellow, but who knew that this person's strength was actually so powerful? Who are you? Li Yuanqing didn't answer him. He looked at Yang Tianqi and said, Does this person still have any value in living? Yang Tianqi hesitated for a while and said, Master, 
he might know how to enter the mystic realm again. Otherwise, we'd better. Before he could finish his sentence, Li Yuanqing raised his hand and Huang Daxian turned into ashes again. Then there's no need for him. Li Yuanqing brought Yang Tianqi back to the bottom of the big box and came to the small space where they first entered. There were many people guarding this place. They were all waiting here. The leader had gone and hadn't returned for a long time. He didn't know what he was doing. When they saw Li Yuanqing and the others, they were still restless. They did not know why these two people would appear here. What are you two doing? Why are you here? Li Yuanqing did not say anything and walked straight to the entrance. At this moment, the array formation at the entrance had already lost its effectiveness. However, this was not a problem for Li Yuanqing. His fingers kept carving on the array. Finally, he casually took out two high-grade spirit stones and threw them into the two grooves of the array. The formation suddenly emitted a burst of intense light. The light was so strong that it was countless times stronger than when they entered just now. Under everyone's gaze, Li Yuanqing held Yang Tianqi's hand and stepped into the secret realm again. Who is this person? How could he open this array again? It should be someone from above. But doesn't this place say that only people below the foundation establishment stage can enter? I feel that this guy's strength seems to be very strong. They were talking in low voices outside. They didn't know the background of this guy who suddenly appeared in front of them. He looked quite strong, and his style of doing things was very rude. The two of them appeared at the top of the mountain. Li Yuanqing simply identified the direction and immediately turned into a blur, disappearing from the top of the mountain. In the next second, he appeared on the desert. Master, look, Luwen is down there. Luwen was not dead yet. The snake and spider were entangled with each other for some reason. Lu Wan, who was covered in wounds, was hiding under a reverse slope of the sand and stones. He was carefully swallowing pills to recover from his injuries. While the two demons were fighting, they suddenly felt a powerful energy in the sky. They immediately looked up and found Li Yuanqing and the others. This was great. He had been chasing that bastard for a long time, and now two more fellows had come knocking on his door. This was a great opportunity. The snake raised its head and spat out a mouthful of venom. The two spiders also raised their butts and sprayed poisonous webs into the sky. However, the two of them had provoked the wrong person this time. A small square stone suddenly appeared in Li Yuanqing's hand. This stone looked like a small altar that had shrunk. There was an extremely dense energy within that made one shudder. The moment this small square platform appeared, it seemed to distort the surrounding space and emit intense energy fluctuations. Li Yuanqing swung his hand, and the square platform fell heavily as if it had a mind of its own. As this small square platform descended, it also expanded in the wind. In the blink of an eye, it had become a large altar that covered the sky. The huge snake and spider were crushed like insignificant ants. When the square platform was lifted up again, it landed lightly in Li Yuanqing's hands. There was nothing left. Li Yuanqing turned around and landed beside Lu Wen. He took out two pills and stuffed them into Lu Wen's mouth. Master, don't talk. Quickly digest the medicinal effects. Lu Wen nodded lightly. He felt the gentle power that the pill emitted when it entered his stomach and continued to guide it. I'm sorry, Master. I made you worry again. Don't say that. If you want to blame someone, then blame it on us. Yang Tianqi hurriedly said, I was the one who brought him here. The responsibility this time is all on me. No, master, it's my fault. I didn't listen to senior brother and insisted on coming here. In the end, I was deceived. If you want to punish me, then punish me. It has nothing to do with senior brother. Although Luan had a good relationship with Yang Tianqi, he had never recognized Yang Tianqi as his senior brother. After all, he still had a sense of pride in his heart. He had defeated him before, but after this incident, he seemed to have acknowledged him as his senior brother a lot more. Young people have to travel everywhere. There's nothing wrong with this. You don't have to apologize to me. You just have to remember that the most important thing for you is to protect your own lives. Master, don't say anymore. You're very seriously injured now. The two of you can recuperate here. As Li Yuanqing spoke, he disappeared. The two brothers looked at the place where their master used to stay and couldn't help but heave a sigh of relief. 
As long as his master was here, everything would be fine. His master was omnipotent and could solve anything. Nothing was a problem. Thank you so much this time. Lu Wen looked at Yang Tianqi sincerely. There's no need to thank me. I almost fell into the hands of others and was harmed by the criminals just now. Fortunately, master arrived in time. Otherwise, I would probably have lost my life. What about Huang Daxian? He didn't escape, did he? Master has already killed him. That's good. That bastard hid so many things before we came in and almost got us killed here. He didn't reveal anything about such a dangerous situation. Yang Tianqi didn't mention how Li Yuanqing had crushed Huang Daxian's bones and scattered his ashes. However, that guy had already paid the price for his greed. Ten miles away, Li Yuanqing looked at the surging sand under his feet. It was as if there were countless worms squirming under his feet, causing the sand to squirm like the surface of the sea. Li Yuanqing looked at the square platform in his hand. He hadn't tried this treasure properly after it was successfully refined. Now was the best time. The square platform in his hand was the magic treasure he had successfully refined with the demonic crystals of those great demons. The inspiration for this thing came from the soul-suppressing altar. This thing was different from ordinary magic tools. It had its own space in the growth attribute. It could be continuously refined and increase this ability. It was probably not within the scope of ordinary magic tools. In Sea City, there was an undercurrent outside the city lord's mansion. I heard that the city lord is about to die. I wonder if it's true. How many days has it been since I've seen the city lord's figure? I probably don't know what the situation is like now. Perhaps it's really as the rumors say. They discussed wantonly, as if they did not care about the rules of the city at all. The most important thing was that the city lord did not know what had happened during this period of time. He had not appeared for a long time, which was a little abnormal. Logically speaking, Yi Chilua couldn't stay idle for even a moment. She had built Sea City with her own hands. He had transformed Sea City from a city without rules and order to what it was now. All of this was his own painstaking effort. At that time, Yi Chilua was busy in the streets and alleys every day. When had she not shown up for such a long time? Something must have happened. That can't be, right? The body of the city lord has always been very strong. How can he be fine and just say that he can't? I heard that it was the crusade some time ago. After that, the city lord never showed his face again. He said that he had encountered a setback outside and encountered something powerful. I knew that the strength of those demon beasts in the wilderness was unfathomable. That's a good thing. After all, after those demons were driven away, everyone in Sea City Base could be the master of the city. Why can Yi Chilua claim to be the city lord after she arrived here? I think we brothers can set up a union and become the city lord ourselves. Many people in Sea City Base had such thoughts. The entire Sea City Base was in chaos. Although the man-eating vines had suppressed many people by force, and everyone knew that there was such a mysterious state preceptor, they were more or less afraid. However, this fear could not stop the endless spectators. Now that there was such a good opportunity, how could they just give up like this? After all, Sea City Base had been completely replaced by a new one. Now, Sea City Base was an ownerless place. It was true that Yi Chilua was the only one who could stand in the position of City Lord, and no one else could. People in Sea City Base had split up into many gangs. Now, these gangs were growing stronger and stronger. Relying on the current chaos, they had been absorbing all kinds of forces from the outside world. In addition, the man-eating vines seemed to have been busy with something recently. The things had not appeared for a while, which made them even more unrestrained. They were discussing fervently here, but they did not notice a black shadow flashing past above their heads. The city lord's mansion was heavily guarded. How is the city lord? Still not better? An official asked the head guard carefully. The captain of the guards glared at him coldly. Lord Zhang, you'd better not ask any random questions, understand? Of course I understand. Captain, I'm afraid you're thinking too much. I'm just casually asking. I definitely don't have any other intentions. I believe that the city lord will definitely be able to make it to the city. In this empty hall, three figures suddenly flashed and appeared out of thin air. The two people outside were still chatting casually, 
unaware that three people had already passed through their blockade and arrived inside. They did not take the sentries they had set up outside seriously at all. The city is getting more and more chaotic. We still need the city lord to come out and take charge of the situation as soon as possible. The main hall was empty, and there was no one there. Li Yuanqing appeared with his two children. He looked around for a while and walked towards a small door at the back. Master, will something happen to Sister Yi? Yang Tianqi looked up worriedly and asked Li Yuanqing. Li Yuanqing patted his head and said nothing. The three of them walked directly to the front of the huge screen and circled around it. They saw a narrow door behind it. The small door seemed to be sealed by a very hard stone slab. Li Yuanqing didn't care and directly led the two of them into the door. In the end, the stone slab didn't exist at all. It was just a restriction. Behind the door was a tightly packed stone room. Inside the stone room sat two people. These two people were sitting on an array platform, and their bodies were emitting a lustrous light. The man-eating vine opened its eyes in surprise and looked at Li Yuanqing. Master, you're finally back. Li Yuanqing took a step forward and placed a hand on Yi Chilua's shoulder, silently sensing the condition of Yi Chilua's body. How did it become like this? Xiao Man sighed and replied, Sister was originally leading a team out to exterminate a group of demonic beasts. Those demonic beasts suddenly appeared from a new place and posed a great threat to us. Just a beast tied? What happened? At the beginning, everything was going very smoothly. However, I didn't expect that a large number of reinforcements would suddenly appear from those demon beasts. I don't know where those reinforcements came from, but they caused us a lot of trouble. Then where did the beast tide come from? In a mountain cave on the other side of the northern river. Has it never happened before? When we first came here, there definitely weren't any. Then, they suddenly appeared. I don't know where they came from. Now, there are still demon beasts coming out from that direction and attacking here. We have to divide our forces to defend. So the defense force inside is very weak. Lil Man was very depressed. The situation in the city could have been controlled, but because the situation outside was too complicated, they had to spend more energy to resist those powerful beasts, which led to the current situation. If they were left alone, with the strength of these demon beasts, they would probably be able to pose a very big threat to the entire sea city in a very short time. It might even be a destructive blow. Li Yuanqing had also observed a lot in the nearby area recently and found that there were indeed many strange things happening in this place. For example, when he had just brought his two disciples out of that place, that mystic realm had suddenly appeared. He did not know where these things came from, but every mystic realm contained very powerful demon beasts. This matter itself was very strange. It was no wonder that the natural environment here was so weak. On one hand, Yi Chilua was seriously injured and was still unconscious. She said that she had been awake for a while, but the poison in her body could not be expelled for a long time. She had become like this. She could only barely keep her life. Who knew what would happen in the end? There were still strong enemies outside, and they could launch a fierce attack at any time. Under such circumstances, it was indeed difficult to maintain the public security here. It's all right, says Xiao Man. Now that master is back, everything will be solved easily. Yang Tianqi suddenly jumped beside Xiao Man and said proudly. Xiao Man hugged Yang Tianqi's head in her arms and said guiltily, It's all my fault. I didn't have the ability to protect you and put you in such danger. So what? We will definitely protect ourselves. Sister, you are thinking too much. Li Yuanqing gently caressed Lil Man's body, driving away the unbearable smell of skin in Lil Man's body, and slowly sat behind Yi Lua. The toxin in Yi Lua's body was a very potent biological toxin. Judging from the structure of the poison, it seemed to be the energy in the body of a certain pet. This power was very overbearing. Although the poison might not be that strong, the most important thing was that this thing could replicate itself. It could continuously erode a person's spiritual energy and turn it into its own power. With this ability, it could continuously accumulate in a person's body and become stronger and stronger. The infected could only run around every day and had no way to completely expel it. Just as Li Yuanqing was investigating, the poison continued to spread to the side. They were like a group of greedy demons, 
frantically searching for the power they desired. Yi Chilua's cultivation base was already considered outstanding among the human race. However, after being infected by this powerful poison, the energy in her body could only be exhausted. Her body was gradually becoming thinner and thinner, and she could not hold on any longer. If Li Yuanqing had not rushed back in time, it was hard to say what would have happened to her. Yi Chilua seemed to have since Li Yuanqing. She slowly opened her eyes and looked at him. Young Master Li, I don't talk. You're seriously injured now. Yi Chilua suddenly grabbed Li Yuanqing's hand and said anxiously, Young Master Li, it's dangerous. There's danger in the north. Don't worry, I already know about it. I'll go and deal with the beast tide. You can sleep first. Li Yuanqing slowly placed his hand on Yi Chilua's shoulder. Yi Chilua only felt a warmth coming from her back, and then her eyelids became heavier and heavier. Finally, she couldn't stand it anymore and slowly closed them, falling into Li Yuanqing's arms. Li Yuanqing flipped his hand, and a square platform that was neither too big nor too small appeared in his hand. Fang Tai's entire body was emitting pitch black energy. This energy was extremely strong as if it had some kind of attraction. Most people's attention was attracted to him. Congratulations, master. You've obtained another treasure. There's a lot of discussion about the situation of the city lord's estate in the city now. Go out and settle the matters outside now. Leave this place to me. Yes, master. Lil Man finally let out a long sigh of relief. Although he could barely help Yichilua survive, he could not expel the poison from her body. However, it was different now that Master had returned. With Master's strength, he would definitely be able to save Sister Yi. Those toxins were not a big deal to Master at all. Of course, this was also the truth. Li Yuanqing shook the magic crystal square table in his hand, and it fell on Yi Chilua's body. The moment the magic crystal square platform appeared, he could clearly feel the chaotic poison in Yi Chilua's body. Suddenly, as if it had sensed some kind of natural enemy, it became very careful. They hid silently, wanting to hide their bodies completely, but their existence was nowhere to be seen under the illumination of the magic crystal platform. The magic crystal square platform was like a cocoon, pulling out the traces of poison from Yichilua's body. The black threads were like some kind of mysterious duct between Yichilua and the magic crystal square platform. After a while, Yichilua suddenly opened his eyes again. His face had become much ruddy. There was no blood on his face just now, which looked very scary. Now, he seemed to have come back to life. She looked at number four in confusion. She didn't know what had happened just now. She only remembered that her soul had drifted away from the nine heavens, as if she had completely become a dead person. However, she didn't know how she had come back to life. Young Masterly, am I already dead? She quietly opened her big watery eyes and looked at Li Yuanqing's handsome face. As if afraid that everything would disappear like a dream, Yi Chilua grabbed Li Yuanqing's arm and stopped him from speaking. Young Master Li, don't speak. I knew that I definitely made it through. I didn't expect that I still didn't wait for you to come back in the end. In the last second of my life, your face flashed in front of me. The two little fellows stood at the side in a daze and felt uneasy. The two of them wanted to quickly find a place to hide. They did not expect that their master and sister Yi actually had such a relationship. Yi Chilua didn't notice the two third wheels at all and said to herself, I know that I might be a little selfish thinking like this, but I still hope that I can be with you forever. Even if there's no result, even if it might be wrong from the beginning, even if you don't like me at all. While Yi Chilua was talking enthusiastically, Li Yuanqing suddenly coughed and reminded her, City Lord Yi, the poison in your body has been almost removed. I just fed you a pill. It won't be long before your meridians recover. Yi Chilua was suddenly stunned. His mind was so clear now. He turned his head and looked at the two little fellows who were standing at the side, covering their mouths and giggling. How could he not know what had happened? The city lord's face was flushed red. He hurriedly broke free from Li Yuanqing's arms and sat at the side to recover. About 300 kilometers away from the north gate of Sea City was the Great River. After crossing the river and walking for another hundred miles, they came to a dark forest. This forest looked dark and there was nothing extraordinary about it. If it was a normal time, 
they would not stop here for long. However, this place had become abnormally lively because there was an endless stream of demon beasts escaping from here. It was unknown where these demon beasts came from, but each of them had great strength, and their numbers seemed endless. Li Yuanqing stood in the air with his two children, quietly watching these demon beasts, howling nonstop in front of the river. If it weren't for the river in front of them, they would have already killed their way to the city. These demon beasts crossed the river in groups. When they moved forward in the river, they would be suddenly attacked by the demon beasts that emerged from the bottom of the river, causing a lot of damage. Some of them were even completely wiped out. If they encountered powerful demon beasts under the river, they would be even more miserable and swallowed by people. However, such a powerful demon beast army still caused a lot of trouble for the people of Sea City Base. Sea City Base's defense legion was set up 10 miles away from the other side of the river. Right now, it was in a heated battle. The soldiers in the legion were all fighting a bloody battle, but they could barely resist. Master, there are too many demonic beasts here. It seems that in just two hours, thousands of demonic beasts have emerged from inside. Moreover, most of these demonic beasts are at the spirit transformation tier. With such powerful strength, it's no wonder that Sister Yi found it difficult to stop them. If it weren't for those guys guarding the base, Sea City would have been destroyed by now. Lu Wen's ferocity made him shudder when he saw the situation in front of him. Master, I think we should go back first. This is too scary. If we directly fight them head on, I'm afraid there won't be a good outcome. However, since Li Yuanqing had already arrived here today, there was no reason for him to return halfway. There was a small stone platform above Li Yuanqing's head. Ever since he had forged this magicite crystal platform, he had always carried it with him, and he could often use it. In the current situation, it was also very ingenious to hide the aura of the three of them. Even though they were now above the heads of these demon beasts, these guys were completely unaware. The three of them walked forward and directly arrived at the hinterland of this mountain range. In this pitch-black mountain range, there was a very wide cave. It was like a big hole had been cut in the body, but it also looked like a huge pocket that had been opened allowing an endless stream of demon beasts to walk out of it with ferocious roars. These demon beasts were of different shapes and colors. Among them was Wild Horse, who had huge horns on his head and eyes as bright as bells. There were also strong boars with steel-like brown hair all over their bodies. They charged forward. Every time they charged, they would smash a piece of mountain rock into pieces before stopping. These fellows were all so arrogant and unruly. Their temperaments and personalities were simply as if they wanted to kill their way through the sky before they could stop. Li Yuanqing's target was the huge exit that had appeared. He did not know how that place was formed, but as long as this exit was destroyed, they would have nothing to rely on. These guys could only obediently go where they came from. Master, we can't tell what kind of dangers there are. Do we really have to go? In order to train these two little fellows, Li Yuanqing specially brought them with him this time and did not keep them in the domain. Now, the two little fellows were a little scared. At least, the situation in front of them was really scary. They had never experienced such a situation before. Although they were still pretending to be calm, they were clearly frightened by the situation in front of them. The little guy's legs began to shake inexplicably. Lu Wen looked at Yang Tianqi and said, Why? Are you afraid? What nonsense are you talking about? Master isn't afraid, so how could I be afraid? When we enter later, the two of you stay by my side. Don't run around, remember? Master, don't worry. The two of us will definitely be obedient and won't run around. This large pocket had a very wide opening on the outside. The three of them were at the edge of the top and quietly slipped in without anyone noticing. As soon as he entered, he could feel the stinking energy that was constantly surging out of the cave. This energy seemed to have gathered all the disgusting stench on these demon beasts' bodies and assaulted their faces. Moreover, it carried a strong corrosive property that even wanted to corrode the layer of shield that enveloped them. However, what was surprising was that this seemingly very powerful corrosive power was useless in front of Li Yuanqing's magic crystal square. This magic crystal square seemed to have some kind of magic power and directly absorbed all the power. 
Yang Tianqi looked at the changes around him and said in amazement, Master, this platform of yours is so powerful. It actually has such an effect. I'm afraid that no matter how powerful a magic treasure is in this world, it's not as powerful as yours. There's no need to talk about Master's Dharma treasure. It's one of the most powerful Dharma treasures in the world. If you ask me, this Dharma treasure can probably be ranked in the top three in the entire catacombs world. While the two little fellows were talking, they had already advanced several thousand feet. The deeper they went, the more they realized that the entire space was gradually becoming narrower. The opening that was as wide as a pocket on the outside became narrower and narrower on the inside. In the end, there was only a passage that was about a hundred feet in diameter. After arriving here, it became crowded. Those demon beasts were all incomparably large and forcefully squeezed out of this narrow passage. If the demon beasts in front blocked it, the demon beasts behind would directly use their brute force to push the senior in front out. After arriving here, it was difficult for them. If they wanted to advance further, they would definitely have to go in through this passage. However, the situation here had already become like this. Basically, it was very difficult for those demon beasts to come out from inside. How could they get in from here? This was mainly a troublesome matter. Li Yuanqing looked at the situation in front of him and frowned slightly. This was indeed a medium-sized trouble that was beyond his expectations. Originally, when he saw so many demon beasts outside, he thought that the space here would be very wide. However, he did not expect that this place was actually so narrow that there was no place for people to stay. Everyone landed in a corner. Suddenly, a wild boar stopped at the side and extended its nose. It kept sniffing left and right, as if it had smelled something strange. The wild boar looked left and right, and its eyes revealed a human-like, confused expression. It really looked like a human. At this moment, the wild boar suddenly raised its head and saw the master and disciple standing on its head. His eyes widened. He only remembered looking up a few times to confirm that he was not mistaken. Those were clearly a few humans, but why were they here? The wild boar suddenly howled above its head, attracting the attention of all the demon beasts. The demonic beasts that had been walking out excitedly all stopped and looked up at the three master and disciple who had suddenly appeared above their heads. They were all gathered here as if they were facing a great enemy. There were still demon beasts squeezing in from behind, but they were all suppressed in this place and could not pass through no matter what. Master, this is bad. Let's hurry up and escape. Now that we've been discovered, what are these guys trying to do? Lu Wen had already taken out his long sword, ready to fight at any time. Li Yuanqing was still calm, as if he had just noticed that he had been discovered. He calmly shook the magic crystal square platform above his head. The energy overflowing from the magic crystal platform gradually became thicker and thicker, covering them like a curtain of rain. This black rain curtain was so unique. It emitted a strange aura along the side of the curtain, which was very dense. The energy gradually spread into the air, and the three people's bodies distorted as if they were swallowed by the air. They gradually disappeared into the sky. Originally, the demon beasts below had all gathered their energy and planned to have a big battle to clean up this human who had invaded their territory. However, they did not expect that the light above their heads would flash and disappear. Not even a trace of their aura was left. These humans had disappeared just like that, as if they had seen wrongly. Those demon beasts kept attacking the space above their heads, trying to beat those people back to their original form. However, just as they were not paying attention, there was a distorted spatial fluctuation at the narrow entrance. A huge lion felt as if something had rubbed its back. It looked back impatiently, but when it saw nothing behind it, it gave up. Taking advantage of the animal disturbance outside, Li Yuanqing quietly sneaked in. After entering the narrow hole, he immediately felt that the surrounding space seemed to have frozen. This was actually a mystic realm space, or rather, a restriction power extended from a mystic realm space. All the creatures here were restricted by the rules and laws here, and their movements became slow. The interior became spacious again. It was like a gourd with two large ends and a narrow middle. Moreover, at the end of this space, he could see a strange light screen. That light screen was like a waterfall of water, and demon beasts kept coming out of it. 
Master, look, those guys came from there. The spiritual energy in the upper half of the gourd was very dense. Most of the demon beasts that came out of the mystic realm stopped here for a while. After resting here, not only would the strength in their bodies reach its peak state, but it would also increase by several levels. They were much stronger than when they first came out. This was because Li Yuan Qing could clearly see the demonic beasts that came out of the exit. Most of them were only at the first or second stage of the spiritualization boundary. However, the demonic beasts that were heading out were all fat and strong, and they were at least sixth or seventh level spiritualization tier. The spiritual power here is so dense. If I can cultivate here, I'm afraid it won't be long before I can successfully establish my foundation. Yang Tianqi looked at the surrounding environment ecstatically. This was really a holy land for cultivators. If he could stay here, it would not be long before he could see the miraculous effects. Even the dense environment was slightly weaker than the cultivation place Li Yuan Qing built in his domain space. It would be great if such a naturally formed mystic realm could be used by others. I didn't expect that there would be such dense spiritual energy here. It would be great if I could stay here forever. The two brothers could see the joy in each other's eyes. This space was like a holy land to cultivators. Moreover, there were clearly all kinds of natural treasures growing below. Many of these treasures were extinct outside and could even be seen here. Moreover, most of them were of extraordinary age. Luwen looked around curiously and asked, Why hasn't anyone discovered this place for so many years? If this place was really that good, someone would have taken it for themselves long ago. However, after so many years, nothing had happened. Why? Maybe it's because this place used to be sealed, Yang Tianqi replied. I don't know why it was opened recently. It's also possible that the demons opened up many of the mystic realms around here. Is it a demon? Lu Wen expressed his doubts. That's possible. Li Yuanqing landed beside the waterfall and looked at the demonic beast that walked out from inside. How does Master plan to destroy this place? From the layout of this place, the defense seems to be quite weak. If we can directly blow it up, it shouldn't take much effort. While the two kids were still discussing how to blow this place up, Li Yuanqing suddenly said, We want to go in and take a look. What? Master, we don't even know what's inside. If we rashly enter, I'm afraid. What if it's the nest of those demon beasts behind here? There might be those especially powerful demon beasts. Are we really going in? There's something we want behind this. The demonic beast was casually looking for food at the side when it suddenly felt a fluctuation beside it. This fluctuation was very strange, and it could not help but look up. Less than a meter away from its head, three people appeared out of nowhere. Moreover, these three people did not stop at all. They stepped into the light screen with one foot, causing this guy to be stunned. It let out a howl, but the other demon beasts looked over and saw that it was empty. There was nothing there. They thought that there was something wrong with its brain and ignored it. Li Yuanqing leaped and jumped to a high point at the side. This was a very deep cave. The top of the cave was faintly emitting a very faint light. It could be seen that there were some special ores embedded on it. These ores were scattered and embedded. They should have been originally in this mountain. This was actually a long and narrow tunnel. It was unknown where this tunnel extended to. Just now, they landed in an empty space and stepped on nothing. Li Yuanqing overreacted and jumped onto a rock that jutted out from the side. At this moment, some heavy footsteps came from afar. The three of them took advantage of the opportunity to hide under the big rock. A clumsy bear was leisurely crawling around, patrolling the area. It was using its hard head to poke around as if it had smelled something. Beside him was a skinny red-haired monkey with long and narrow limbs. As the monkey walked, it scratched its ears and cheeks, looking left and right as if it was looking for something. Have you found it? Where is it? It was clearly clean and there was nothing. But mother said that something broke in here and asked us to take a look. The big stupid bear stopped when it reached the three people's foothold. It leaned against the big rock and stretched its nose to sniff around. Its big nose was really useful. The monkey jumped onto the rock and sat cross-legged on it looking left and right in boredom. When are we going there to play? The door was actually open, so it was a little boring to guard here. What are you thinking? 
We are now well behaved and protecting mother's safety is enough. Yet you still want to run around. The two little fellows widened their eyes and lay on Li Yuanqing's body, not daring to say anything. The two powerful demonic beasts were right beside them, but they did not notice the existence of the three of them at all. These two fellows were actually at the sixth grade of the array formation realm. How did such strength suddenly become so common in this catacombs world? The monkey said unhappily, There are so many brothers here. How could anything happen? Besides, protecting mother is important. This simple thing can be done by just two little brothers. Why do you have to make us go through so much trouble? What a waste of time. The big dumb bear looked up at Monkey and said, Stop complaining here. When they completely wipe out the outside world, there will naturally be room for you to play. Now, you better stay here obediently as instructed. Don't make any mistakes. Otherwise, we brothers won't be able to bear the consequences. All right, all right. How many times have you said this? I'm tired of hearing it. However, I heard that the situation outside isn't going well. I don't know what they're doing. We've wasted so much spiritual power on them, but we can't see any results. We still need someone to go out and lead. The big dumb bear nodded and said, It's indeed too chaotic outside. I heard that mother plans to send the spirit child out. Spirit boy? Why can he go out? Monkey jumped up unhappily and stepped on a small rock as he rolled down from behind. Why can't I go for this kind of thing? If I go out, I can definitely take care of those guys outside. Why waste time on that guy? What's the use of telling me this? Isn't this matter decided by Imperial Mother? If you ask me, you should just obediently accept your fate. Stop complaining so much all day long. If someone hears it, you will. As the big stupid bear was speaking, it was suddenly interrupted by Monkey. Monkey's two big eyes widened, and the muscles all over his body seemed to have tensed up. The big stupid bear didn't know what Monkey was doing either, but this fellow often acted like this. There was most likely a reason, but he didn't know what the reason was this time. The Monkey slowly turned around and looked behind him. He had clearly kicked a small stone just now and kicked it down. However, the stone did not make any sound when it landed on the ground. This was strange. Monkey turned his head and gave the stupid bear a look. After the two of them finished communicating, they separated. The stupid bear went around from below while Monkey stood on top. The two of them decided to surround him and directly capture the guy below to see what it was. He saw that a long silver rod had appeared in the monkey's hand. He waved the stick and stabbed it directly at his feet. Rocks flew everywhere from below. His rod directly stabbed a huge pit. Monkey jumped and turned to look at the shadow behind the huge rock, but there was clearly nothing there.